Real quickly, I want to show you how to save an Excel file as a comma delimited uh, file or a comma saved value file, a CSV file. Real simple. Here's a text file. I've entered some data in column A and in column B. Go to the happy button to save as. Save as type. You drop that down and you look for not CSV Macintosh but just plain old CSV and browse to the proper directory and hit save. Now, this is the warning that Excel always tries to give you. Um, does not support multiple sheets, so on and so forth. A CSV can only have one sheet, so whatever sheet you're looking at, that's what will be saved to the CSV, and that's what Excel is trying to warn you about. It's fine, just hit OK. Then it always gives you a warning like this, is that there's some formatting that it won't save in CSV. Well, we don't need any formatting. We just want a simple text file. So again, hit yes, and you saved it. Now, here's the final trick. When you're done, so I just saved it. I haven't changed a thing. Now I'm going to close it, and Excel will give me a warning. Do you want to save changes you made? I didn't make any changes. Why is it asking me this? Well, Excel is stubborn and it wants you to save things in the Excel format. And so we just saved it as a CSV format, but it really is wanting us to change this to an Excel. Forget it. We don't want to do that. We saved it as a CSV. We haven't changed it. We're happy. Just say no and we're done. And you'll also note that if we want to go and open it, um, we go back to the directory and you'll see that the file is not here but we just saved it why is it not here well it's looking for Excel files change this to all files and here is our CSV open it beautiful there it is and you see that Excel is smart enough to take this one and to put the data into different columns. Sometimes it's not smart enough. Sometimes you have to tell it which data go in which columns. It's very simple. And there you have it.